Hey guys, Mike here. So in this video, I'm going to show you how we pour a flat concrete floor. So I was hired to pour this thing. It's four inches thick. And I'm going to show you just how we pour the concrete, how we screed it, and how we bow float it. And that's all we needed to do on this floor. And as a bonus, you're going to get to see us using a power buggy to put the concrete in place. Now I could have, I could have wheelbarrowed this floor, or I could have pumped it, but I decided to use a power buggy because it's just a little more concrete than I really wanted to wheelbarrow. It's about 21 yards, and I didn't really want to have the owner spend the extra money for a pump, so I just rented this power buggy. It was 100 bucks to rent this thing, and it carries about 8 to 10 wheelbarrows at a time. So it's a pretty good tool to use every once in a great while. So the floor is about 1,300 square feet. And as you can see, he's got a 15 mil vapor barrier down there to help protect against any moisture coming up through the, the sub base. And this is gonna be a super insulated room. It's gonna be for his wife. She teaches athletic training. So he just needed a, a, a flat concrete floor. And then on top of the concrete, He's going to put four inches of styrofoam and then his subflooring over the styrofoam. So the people in here that come do their training, they're not training right on top of a hard concrete floor. Now I didn't design the floor either. It was all designed by an engineer. So again, I was just hired to pour the concrete, screed it, bow float it. So the engineer specs called for a four inch thick concrete floor with fiber mesh, 3000 PSI doesn't need wire, doesn't need rebar. It's inside a frost wall. So if by chance the concrete does crack, I mean it's locked in by the frost wall. So it's, the concrete floor is not going anywhere. And it does have the fiber mesh in it. So that helps a little bit. So as you can see, this power buggy is, uh, is pretty fast and it also cuts down on the labor as far as wheelbarrowing goes. It, you know, if you were going to wheelbarrow this thing, you'd probably have at least two guys wheelbarrowing. And the same goes with a, a line pump. If you were going to pump this, you know, you usually got one guy holding the end of the hose of the pump and then another guy pulling the hose around. So it actually kind of saves you a person by just using the power buggy here. And it's pretty fast. You can dump 10 yards out in about, you know, 15 or 20 minutes with this thing. So you can see, I'm just dumping the concrete. I got Darren and Luke there screeding, and Tia's back. She's out of college, as probably most of you guys have heard, most colleges have shut down, and they're doing just online learning now. So Tia's gonna be back to work here for a while while she continues her last semester online. So it's always great having an extra hand, especially when that person has some experience and kind of knows what to do. And uh, as you can see, it allows me to keep power buggy in while, while Darren and Luke are screeding the floor. Now we're screed, we're using a 14 foot screed. I got, you know, these tools guys that we use are all down in the links of the video if you guys want to check them out. So we're using a 14 foot magnesium screed here today. This thing's about, it's about 25, 26 feet wide. So it gives us a little bit of overlap, you know, when we set over and do the other bay. Darren's, right now, Darren's shooting some grades around this thing. It was kind of hard to snap a chalk line since they rolled that poly up over the edge. So we're just wet padding everything and then we're striking the wall with the straight edge to make sure everything gets nice and level. So Darren's going around making the pads using the, using the Topcon self-leveling laser that I had in the previous video that I'll have a link pop up right here. You can go check that out where I showed you how we use a level to set our grades in this thing. Watch how this thing dumps the concrete, pretty cool. Damn, there's about 10 wheelbarrows right there. How many of you guys have used a power buggy or have, or can tell that this might be a pretty useful tool to use once in a while? You know, leave me a comment down there and let me know. And if you've never seen one of these, you know, let me know that too if you've never seen it and this thing looks pretty cool to you. Now what Darren and Luke are doing right now is they're kick screening. You can see every time they, they pull that straight edge, you know, I'm coming in to help because we got it a little bit low. I should have I should have dumped one more power buggy right there for those guys. But it's alright, T and I will get some more concrete up there. So 
Again, if you like these kind of videos, go down there and hit the smash the like button. It really helps me out with the YouTube algorithm and helps rank these videos a little better so more people can see. So I, as you can see, when Darren and Luca are pulling that screed board, every time they pull it up, they kick their feet in to fill their footprints. And that allows them to keep moving backwards instead of having to stop every single time they pull the board. So we call that kick screeding. I mean, we do a lot of it. We also have a vibra screed that we use a lot of. We just, we didn't pull it out on this job. We didn't think it was quite big enough to pull out. And, you know, as the speed of dumping the concrete with the power buggy, it doesn't really push these guys. You know, I'm not that fast. So these guys are kind of waiting for me to get the concrete down. So we decided just to do hand screed this today. You can see we're striking the pads there. We like, we like having two guys on a screen this size. It just makes it a little bit easier for the guys, a little bit faster versus one guy trying to screed by himself. I know a lot of you guys out there screed by yourselves, but this is just the way we were taught, and this is the way we enjoy doing it. Let's see, T and I are both raking the concrete. Definitely helps having somebody behind there raking the concrete that knows what they're doing. That way the two guys screeding don't have to stop until they finish the entire bay. So right now we got that first truck dumped out. We're waiting for the second truck to back in and get mixed up. And then we'll continue with the process. We've got another bay of concrete dumped out with the power buggy. These guys are, are screeding it. You know, screeding like this for us, this is one of the easier things we do if the concrete's not too high or too low. It's pretty easy for us to screed concrete like this. Now, if you've never done it, you know, getting used to kicking and screeding at the same time is a little bit of a process. But just like anything, just like riding a bike, the more you do it, the better you get at it. And then you can almost do it with your eyes closed, to be honest with you. And you can just feel the screed on top of the concrete. We're finishing up. We got the power buggy out of there now. Pouring right out of the chute, getting this last bay poured out. Darren's up there, bow floating. You can see him up there. Luke and Pierre are pulling the concrete around. Spreading the concrete out, using our rakes. We'll get that filled in. We'll get it almost all the way filled up. And we'll, we'll shut the concrete off just before we get it all filled up. So we don't want an excess amount of concrete in there. We don't want to have to shovel any out if we don't need to. So we'll just stop the concrete, get it pulled down almost all the way to the end. And then if we have to add a little more, we'll add a little more. Guys, if you want to learn how to run a concrete business like I do, like I have for the past 35 years, you know, I got a sign up link down in the description of the video below. Just click on that, sign up with your email, and I'll keep you informed of when I'm coming out with that program of how to teach you how to run your own business or even start your own business. That's coming up real soon. I'm, I've been working on it, and uh, that's going to be coming up real soon. Also, in that same, same email, I've got a private members area that I'm coming out with where I'm going to help train you, learn all these skills and techniques that I do in a lot more detail than what I go into on my YouTube videos. So, if and, you know, that'll be a monthly membership site that's private. And you'll have access to it. There'll be a bunch of training videos in there. There'll be, you know, I'll do live stuff from the job sites. There'll be access to me in there. You'll be able to ask me more questions through, uh, through the forums. There'll be a community area in there where you'll be able to communicate with other like-minded people like yourselves. So just sign up in that email down below and and uh, again if you haven't if you're new to here and you haven't subscribed yet go ahead and hit subscribe. I come out with a couple videos a week about concrete stuff. That's what my channel is all about. And that's how we pour a flat concrete floor, guys. Just screeding, full floating, and on this one we use that power buggy. So again, thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.